Hi everyone, we want to look at corresponding angles and make it um, very, very simple to understand how corresponding angles look no matter what position they're in. So when you look at parallel lines in a transversal, the most important uh, pattern is corresponding angles because it'll actually allow us to solve any of the patterns we see even if we don't know the names of them. Uh, rather than memorizing them, we could use corresponding and a little trick that I'll show in another video. Corresponding angles are angles that are in the posi same position, but in a different line, we say. So uh, if this is a correspond, if this is an angle, we want to look for the corresponding one. One thing that I've taught my students to do is to draw a circle around the center uh, where the vertex is, where all the lines are, or all the angles are meeting, and do the same thing down here. So a corresponding angle is in the same position. So if this one's on the top right of that circle, then a corresponding angle will be here on the top right as well. So we often use tracing paper to see that they're exactly the same. They're just a translation up one line or down one line. So let's try that a few times. Here's another example. And a corresponding angle doesn't have to be on the right side or on the top. It could be in other positions as well. So let's say that this angle here is marked and you want to find the corresponding angle. You could draw a circle around it here and here and we notice that this angle is in the bottom left. Well here is the bottom left and these are corresponding or matching angles. Uh, let's try another one. Maybe we start down here. Let's try down here actually. So again we can draw a circle around it and realize that it's the bottom right that is marked. So if we draw that same circle here it is also going to be in the same position on the bottom right. So it's the same position on a different line up or down. So if it's top right it's top right on the other line. If it's bottom right it's bottom right on the other line. So corresponding angles are very easy to recognize um, if you look at it this way. In my other video, I'll show how we can use this as, as well as linear pairs and vertical angles to solve every kind of these angle pairs that you'll see. It'll make it very easy.